so this so this short video is just going to go over my burp suit uh, web app pen testing setup in Chrome using Chrome as a proxy. So first let's cover the extensions, Adblock Plus, it doesn't really matter whatever ad blocker you use, just some, it's nice to have. Edit this cookie, um, some sort of cookie editor just to mess with the cookies pretty easily. Webalyzer to identify web technologies, or add further enumeration you might want to do later. And Foxy Proxy Standard, Switchy Omega, they, put, they both pretty much do the same thing. I uh, personally, I use Foxy Proxy Standard. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll go a little bit more into these later, but you also want to use extensions and those are nice to have. Um, and you'll see why later. So first I have my proxy on here and I could turn it on and off pretty easily just with this. And that's just Foxy Proxy. That's why it's really useful. Um, let's drop everything here. Okay. So intercept is on. We're going to try loading a page. And now that our proxy's on, nothing's going to happen because until we load forward the requests that are being intercepted by Burp Suite here. So once we forward that, eventually the web page in the back should load like so. But see, if I just go to any other website and if I don't forward the request, it's not going to load. So what happens if I want to use Burp Suite and do research? Well, you could all try another uh, browser or you could make use of profiles like this. So wherever I go on the internet, it doesn't matter. It's going to load it because this other profile is, is not being intercepted. Only this profile is being intercepted since each profile is different, uh, separate from each other. So that's why profiles are really useful. So just to go back and review, use this extension. Use, I use these extensions and different profiles so that I could do research on one side and intercept traffic and do whatever on the other side. Uh, or on the other profile. Um, and let's see these actual extensions being used. So cookie editor, we easily see the value of the cookie, get to mess with some of the values and stuff, see if we can get anything out of it. For some websites uh, with with some vulnerabilities, you're able to just edit a cookie and just gain admin privileges. Um, you might not really see that too often, but I mean, it could happen and well, it's just really easy to mess with this. And then Weaponizer is used like this. It helps you identify uh, some of the technologies being used on the page to tailor your attacks or payloads to them. Um, beyond that, that should be it. So just to review again, some favorite extensions here, edit some sort of cookie editor, some sort of uh, proxying uh, extension, uh, a Weaponizer so just to identify uh, the technologies on the page, App blocker just because it's nice to have. Um, you don't have to have it, or you can just turn it off if you don't want to use it and you want to um, intercept everything, even that. Um, and the use of profiles. Uh, and that's it.